Hey, it's Liz from No Trace, and in this video, I'm going to give you a tour of my family's very low waste bathroom, and you'll get some tips and ideas that you can use in your own life if you're trying to cut waste in the bathroom. So let's go! All right, let's start with the shower. In our shower, we have just a few basic things. We get shampoo that we refill from our local stores that have bulk shampoo. Um, we've also used shampoo bars in the past, so you can get shampoo bars that come unwrapped. Um, we also have our, a refillable container that we use for bulk soap. We use like a really gentle Castile soap in the bathroom, in the shower. We can get that refilled at a couple of stores in Santa Cruz, uh, Ethos in Capitola and Staff of Life in Santa Cruz and New Leaf sometimes has bulk soap. If you don't have access to bulk liquid soap, a bar of soap is a great low waste alternative. You can find lots of soaps that come without any plastic that just come unpackaged like this one. Um, the one thing for us, we have really hard water in Santa Cruz County, it's groundwater. So liquid soap is a little bit easier on um, the cleanup process for our shower than um, bar soap. But if you can't find a liquid refill soap, obviously this is a great low waste alternative. We also have a loofah, which is a nice all natural body scrubber. These are made from a type of plant, it's a squash plant, and they're fully compostable at the end of their life. And then we, I have a safety razor for shaving. So this comes with a razor blade that you can recycle. Um, as you need to. There are places that will accept uh, razors for recycling. You can also, what we do is all the small metal bits like razors we put into an old can from like an old canned good and then we squish the can lid closed so that the little metal bits don't get lost at the recycling plant. You don't really want the blade to get lost um, floating around um, you know, on a big conveyor belt at a recycling plant. So you want to find a good way to recycle that blade. And another thing about the safety razor is that you don't want to store it in your shower, or at least probably don't want to store it in your shower because you don't want to encourage rust. So I keep my safety razor in my medicine cabinet and pull it out for showers. In terms of conditioner, we do a couple things. We sometimes get conditioner bars, and the thing about those is that you need to have a little spot to let it dry out in between showers, because if you just leave your conditioner bar in the shower, it'll start to dissolve really quickly. So we sometimes get conditioner bars, store them on a little um, a soap dish, and then we also have used some leave-in conditioner that we've had from for a couple years, for a few years now, since before we were really trying to cut our waste. The other things I want to mention is that we use a an old plastic um, container to catch water from the shower as it starts to warm up so that we don't just let the water run down the shower when we're trying to warm up um, the water for a shower. So we catch that water and then we repurpose it in the garden. So a couple other general body care items. We use um, Who Gives a Crap toilet paper. So this is a really awesome company that gives back and they uh, create plastic free toilet paper. It gets shipped in paper, in a paper box, and we recycle the wrapper and we recycle the tube when we're done with it. We also um, have bamboo hairbrush. But we're still using our old plastic hairbrushes too. There's four of us in our family. We all have our own hairbrush and it's important to use up what you have before buying something new. So you can find nice compostable um, bamboo hairbrushes, but uh, it's also good to use up what you have before you go out and buy more. Okay, let's move on to oral care. So we use bamboo toothbrushes in my household and 
Uh, the awesome thing about these is that they are compostable at the end of their life, except for the very top with the bristles. Usually uh, toothbrush bristles are made out of nylon, so they are synthetic, and you'll have to break off this part, and then you can compost the, um, the rest of it. And in terms of toothpaste, we use regular toothpaste with fluoride, Toms of Maine, but we save all of our old toothpaste tubes and we recycle them with TerraCycle. So in our community, you can take your toothpaste tubes to a local zero waste store and recycle the empty tubes with TerraCycle, which is a really great option. TerraCycle also takes plastic toothbrushes. So if you can't find a bamboo toothbrush or you're still working through your plastic toothbrush stash, you can recycle toothbrushes with TerraCycle too. In terms of floss, we use a compostable silk floss um, that comes in a little glass container. This we just compost at home in our home compost. It comes in a little paper box. Now I find that this stuff works really well. It does break slightly more often than plastic floss, but at least it um, it's compostable. So that's a really nice feature. It's not a vegan, um, but there might be some compostable vegan floss options out there, um, but I have not found one yet. So we're using silk, um, but it, it's working well for us. Oh, and the name of this company is Dental Lace, if you're looking for a compostable floss. Moving on to sort of general skincare, um, I've got a few different things that I use. Jojoba oil as a moisturizer for my face. I also use it as a makeup remover um, to get makeup off. It's all natural and you can get, I can get this in Santa Cruz from a, a zero local zero waste store, but you might have something in your community. Um, you can also often get really large um, containers of jojoba oil online if you can't find a refill option near you. And I like, I like to use organic jojoba oil. We also use regular body lotion that we can get in bulk. So we bring our own containers and refill for lotion uh, in town at our local zero waste store. There's also grocery stores that have had bulk lotion in the past. For deodorant, I alternate between a few different brands that make zero waste packaging for their deodorant. One is Native Deodorant, which I'm using right now. I also really like Verdant, which is a local Santa Cruz brand, and they both come in a fully plastic-free compostable tube. And I also really like Circular Living Co. They make a really nice deodorant that comes in glass jar, and there's a refill option for their deodorant here in town. So I kind of alternate between those different brands. For sunscreen, we can get sunscreen in bulk at our local zero waste store. Um, our local grocery store has also had a bulk sunscreen refill option as well. And if you don't have access to bulk sunscreen, there are a lot of companies that are coming out with compostable sunscreen in a tube or sunscreen in a metal tin so that you can avoid plastic packaging in your sunscreen. This is um, Avasol and it's a it's a nice sport sunscreen that comes in a tube. I also really like to use shea butter for when my skin gets really dry, especially on my hands. And I found this um, brand Ohana Organics. It's a California company and they produce a really nice shea butter. This one, it smells like lemongrass. It smells so good. And it comes in a nice recyclable tin. We often um, actually reuse these tins to put sunscreen or lotion in when we're traveling. So that's a nice um, deep moisturizer, sort of low waste option. In terms of chapsticks, I really like a local company called Nudi, N-U-D-I, it's a Santa Cruz brand. They make chapstick in a compostable tube. I used that up and I'm um, onto an old chapstick that was in my purse. So again, you wanna use up what you have before you go on to buy more. 
so use what you have first but there are some really nice zero waste chapsticks on the market if you if you need a new chapstick this one I think is a, a Burt's Bees and it's made with beeswax and some oils I also like to use a little essential oils and these come in glass containers that we actually save and reuse or we give away put on like free cycle or something so this uh, I have not found a refill option for essential oils um, but they do come in glass containers that get reused and a last sort of skincare product I wanted to mention sort of CBD Arnica balm sticks so this one is um, from Seattle it's called WCBD it is for aches and pains I put this on my knee at night because it gets a little sore but Herb Apothecary is another great brand that makes a balm in a compostable tube if you need some kind of like body pain relief ointment I would recommend those two brands that have a, a zero waste packaging option okay so moving on to eye care um, there aren't a lot of great zero waste uh, eye care products on the market if you wear contacts so I just use like regular um, you know contact solution from our local drugstore plastic cases but these can be recycled with TerraCycle. So we have an option in our community, again, at our zero waste store, to recycle these kinds of materials through TerraCycle so that they, so they don't end up in the landfill. And that is also true for the actual contacts and contact cases. You can recycle these with TerraCycle if you have a TerraCycle box in your community. If you're someone who gets your period, there are some really great reusable menstrual products on the market, including a Diva Cup, some reusable cloth pads, and also Thinks brand underwear. This is like a underwear with a pad built into it. So that's what we do here at my house, and um, it's great that we don't need any of those disposable menstrual products anymore. Everything that we use is um, reusable and washable. At the bathroom sink, we have um, a glass container for reusable hand soap. It's the same soap we use in the shower. It's just a gentle Castile soap that we can get in bulk from uh, a couple of places in town. Obviously a bar of soap is another great option if you don't have refillable soap in your community. So just look for unpackaged bars of soap to keep at the sink. We also use um, reusable makeup pads to wash our faces with. These are ones that we made ourselves, but you can find a ton of them online if you want to purchase some reusable washable makeup pads. If you'd like to learn how to make your own reusable makeup remover pads, I do have a tutorial for that on YouTube. I'm going to link to it right here. So check it out if you want to make your own. We also keep a little bin in the bathroom for compostable things like floss, fingernails, hair, and um, tissues. So anything that you can compost, we have a little bin in the bathroom and we just add it to our compost whenever it fills up. I really hope you enjoyed this tour of our low waste bathroom and I hope it inspires you to find new ways to cut waste in your own life and to green up your bathroom routine. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the No Trace channel for more tips on zero waste living and I also have a lot of tutorials for zero waste sewing over there. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.